Welcome back. During the pandemic, nonprofits have definitely stepped up to help those in need. We've seen that right here in Park City. And now a specific certain retailer is doing the same thing to help in our local community and in your local area as well. Recently I talked about this. Let's take a look. According to a mid-pandemic study, three quarters of nonprofits reported an increase in demand for services since the start of the pandemic leaving them strapped for resources, time, and staffing to make necessary improvements. For those organizations and communities who are weary but still serving their neighbors, now be, may be a great time to call for help as one home improvement retailer steps up to the plate. Julie Yanichek, Senior Director, Community Relations for Lowe's, and Paul Hollihan, Chief Development Officer from Points of Life, are joining us this morning with all the details. Thank you, both of you, for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks so much. Julie, can you tell us about the program and a little bit about why Lowe's is getting involved? Sure. So Lowe's has a longstanding commitment to serve the communities where we live and work. Last year, we celebrated our 100th birthday, and we partnered with Points of Light and different community organizations to do 100 impact projects. And we were able to impact over 1.3 million people. So we are happy to share that we are going to continue this program, and we just announced that we are making a five-year, $100 million commitment to making homes and hometowns better for all those in need. So again, really grateful for our partnership with Points of Light and the impact that we collectively make with the local communities. Paul, how are the projects selected, and are there eligibility requirements for getting involved? So uh, the goal of Lowe's Hometowns is to create lasting impact in communities across the country. And so we're looking for individuals, nonprofits, organizations to nominate deserving projects that will create impact in their communities. And we're looking for um, projects that are centered around neighborhood housing, uh, shelters, community centers, food pantries, things that... Um, you know, outdoor spaces like parks and, and community gardens that will, will create a broader impact in the community. Julie, what can you tell us about the plans for the first project coming up in LA? So after our 100 projects last year, Bobby Burke reached out to us, the designer, and said he wanted to get involved. He does such a tremendous amount of work in the community. And so he nominated a project in LA called My Friend's Place, which is a homeless shelter for youth. And so that'll be the first project that we do. However, um, beyond LA, anyone can nominate their project and Bobby will pick one other project that he is going to design along with the nominator. Paul, why is it so important for companies to get involved in programs like this to help communities in need? So not during the pandemic, uh, nonprofits are, are really obviously struggling to navigate uh, that situation. And so I, I wanna emphasize uh, what a great corporate citizen Lowe's is, not only from their financial investment, but their employees giving their time and talent uh, to create impact. Uh, during these projects, we'll have red vest days where Lowe's employees will be side by side with community members, um, helping these come to life. And so um, it's important for companies as well as individuals to lean in and really help communities thrive. Julie, where can our viewers go for more information and to apply? So we would encourage all of your viewers to go to lowes.com slash hometowns to get more information and find a way for them to make an impact in their local community. Thank you so much, Julie and Paul, for joining us today. I really appreciate your time and Really appreciate this conversation about helping our neighbors. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks so much.